We've got a girl now. We named the camp after her. This is Mariah Cartwright. God bless you. You come along, will you please? And uh, I said that we're going to ask Joy to go first, and she said, good, you know. But anyway, we're happy you're here. Very happy you're here. Why don't you tell us all about yourself as much as possible and where you're from, name, all that, and the school grades, the whole business, will you please? <laughs> good for you. God bless you. We pray for you. Hi, my name is Mariah Cartwright. I am from Victory Baptist Church in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. We traveled about nine hours to get here. And all of you, most of you know Dan Moore. He graduated here from Crown. And I just want to say happy anniversary to the Moores being married for 14 years. I definitely got to give props to Miss Moore for being married to him for 14 years. So anyway, I am 16 years old, and next year I will be a junior at Victory Baptist. And uh, just pray for me as I make the decisions in college. I've been praying about this college, but the Lord hasn't showed me yet, so just pray for me there. And I am a camper at Mount Moriah. I would definitely say that the zip line is definitely pretty cool. Thank you for whoever put that up, because that was pretty awesome. Um, I was saved at the age of six, and I was having some doubts, and um, my teacher in sixth grade actually led me to the Lord in October 21st, 2008, because I was having some doubts, and that's whenever the Lord for sure, he saved me, and she told me I, I was a sinner. I definitely am a sinner, and how he died on the cross for my sins Amen. and rose again on the third day. And as I went into the seventh and eighth grade, I began to backslide and listen to the wrong things, get around the wrong crowds. But thanks to my parents and my wonderful youth group, who I love very much, um, they invited me to Fellowship Baptist Youth Conference in Durham, North Carolina. And the Lord spoke to me about my lifestyle, Amen. and he showed me that eternity is worth living your life for. And um, I replaced the wrong things with the right things, like Pastor um, Pullman was speaking on last night. That was a very nice message, and it spoke to me very much. And I made a commitment to continue to do right, and um, I know a lot of other people did too. And uh, I just pray that you guys would pray for me as I continue to do right. And just these two years that the Lord has been working in my life, he has given me one, some of the most amazing friends, and he's really kept me strong in it. And to any teens and adults who think that they can't do right and that they cannot stand up for God, anything's possible with God. And it says in Philippians 4.13 that I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. So just be praying for the rest of the week. It's been awesome so far. Thanks to all the people that uh, put work into it, and I'm looking forward to a good, great rest of the week. Thank Amen. you. Amen. I think you could preach for it. What about that, huh? Yeah. You're having a good time? Absolutely. Did you really ride the zip line? Yes. Yeah. I did. Were you frightened? No. <laughs> no. I was excited. Good. Very good. Don't you think all the deacons of this church need to do it just to see, the, see what it's really like? And their wives. And their wives? Good. <laughs> Girls can do it too, right? Absolutely. Good. So we ought to have a zip line, uh, sort of a zip line work for everybody this week. We're having family camp out there. And so I appreciate the good promotion about the zip line. Good. Amen. God bless you. We're praying for you. We're praying for you, young people. 